Isn't it lovely when thy hands are together? May thine hands be bound together from this point forward. And if either of them shall ever feel the need to wander, may they both drop dead where they stand. Forgive me, noble Lauren, but I, I do not love you, and I do not wish to be your wife. Please, it, it is I that must ask for your forgiveness. I should have stood up to my father and told him I did not want to marry, but my heart belongs to another. I too have given my heart to another. What are we to do? If we do not consummate our marriage duty by tonight, we will be killed. Don't worry. I will pray for guidance. <sighs> Who is your beloved? I do not wish to say. I want to protect my beloved. You have no reason to fear me. I have a plan. We will request a ceremonial food and have your beloved bring it to us. Then I will exchange clothing with him and leave the marriage house in his place. Then after the consummation, I will return and exchange places with him again. Her. What? She is a her, not a him. Her name is Emma, Joseph's daughter. That might prove challenging. Emma. Lauren, why have you done this to her? It is the answer to our dilemma. How is this possible? Leave it all to me. Emma, take off your robe. Sorry, so that no one suspects. I don't know how I can ever repay you. You can request my true love to bring the ceremonial wine. Who should I ask for? Adam. Adam? Wilfred's son? seems this marriage has been consummated. I am pleased that you are pleased. Very well. I'll let you two get some much needed rest. Adam? Let it be known that Lauren and Marta are joined together forever. Let the ceremony of a hundred days of copulation begin. Adam. I'm arranging a marriage between you and Emma. 